It's March the 17th, in AD 73. We're visiting ancient Rome to watch the Liberalia, an annual festival that celebrates the liberty of Rome's citizens. We're looking in at a 17-year-old named Lucius Papidius Secundus. He's not from a poor family. Lucius, who awoke at dawn, has family duties to perform today. Lucius has almost completed his education. He has learned to speak well, make public speeches, and how to read and write both Latin and Greek. His father has taught him the types of things you can't learn in the classroom. How to run, how to swim, and how to fight. Lucius could choose at 17 to become a military tribune and command soldiers on the edge of the empire. But in other ways, Lucius is still a child. He's not trusted to arrange business deals. His father will take care of that until he is 25. And dad will arrange Lucius's marriage to a girl 10 years younger. His dad has his eye on a family with a seven-year-old daughter. Fathers and uncles take the kids to the Forum of Augustus to see statues of Rome's famous warriors. Like Aeneas, who led Rome's ancestors, the Trojans, to Italy, and Romulus, Rome's founder, and all the great generals of the Republic from more than a hundred years earlier. Lovingly, we can imagine fathers and guardians with their now adult children, remembering stories of Rome's glory and retelling the good deeds and sayings of the great men of the past. Lessons on how to live well and to overcome the follies of youth. There is a sense of history in this place, relevant to their present.